All right. Rowena Ravenclaw came from the glens. Excellent. My faith in the house of Ravenclaw is maintained. I would say your exertions warrant an O for outstanding. The way is open to you. Next time, simply say, studious success. What a good day for them. Dragon's Egg. Pass, friend to Hufflepuff. Hogwarts 50 years ago, weren't you? Yes. Why? Do you want to make fun of me? No. I want to know if you ever used the secret passage behind Boris the Bewildered. Why? Do you promise to come back and visit me if I tell you the password? Yes. Of course. It's forget me never. I hope you never forget me, Harry. <laughs> <sighs> of course I won't. I never forget her. Dragon's Egg. May your courage hold. Keep it up, Master Potter. Another day's education.
Hi. Is the password forget me never? My goodness, you know what? I think it is. Yes, yes, how could I have forgotten that? Let's see. All I need to do now is... There we are. Forget me never. What? Oh, oh, oh yes. Hey. Forget me never. Forget me what? Oh, yes! Must be the holidays again soon. Hey. hey. I've got 30 letters to send. Can you help? Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. Hello. Ooh. I need Wigan World Potion from the hospital wing. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. Another day's education. Excuse me, can you talk? No, but you just did. No, I didn't. And who did? She did, that one there, the one with the bushy hair. My hair is not bushy. Ron, is, is my hair bushy? No, well, only a bit. It's been windy, and I've been busy. Great. We only need to find one more. Potion. I wonder what Zacharias wants it for. Who cares? Let's go to the hospital when you get it and go. Excuse me, can I use your shortcut, please? Ah, uh, no. You'll have to talk to me if you want to use the shortcut. You mean, he'll have to talk to me. Neither of you knows what you're talking about. Can't I talk to all of you? You could, but it wouldn't do any good. 
If you could find where I am, then I could let you in. I have to find you. Right. Let's look around for Zacharias's Wigan Whale potion. That's it! I got it! Let's get back to the library and give it to Zacharias. Incendio! Hiya, Harry. How do I find the room of requirement? You've heard too. Come to the seventh floor and think about how much you really need to find the room and the door will appear. Wicked. I don't know if Terry or Michael knows. We've already told them. See you in the room of requirement. Great. That's Michael Corner, Anthony Goldstein and Terry Boop crossed off our list. Did you have to get so many people involved in the DA, Hermione? We should be glad so many people are prepared to do it. Although, Michael probably wouldn't have come along if Ginny wasn't going out with him. She's what? She's going out with... since when? She got together with Michael at the end of last year. I don't like him. Big surprise. Chops and gravy. Hello. This place could do with a clean. Tragic demise of Ministry of Magic worker. Roderick Bow died when attacked by a devil snare plant delivered to his bedside at St. Mungo's. Is anyone there? Excuse me, is that Achievements and Charming you're reading? Can I have a quick look? Yes, yes, of course. Well, that was obvious. Yeah, completely obvious. All we've got to do now is write the essay. Uh... Oh, for goodness sake. You'll have to do your own essay sometime. And so, therefore, and they, and in conclusion... Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Flitwick. Hello? Hermione? Hermione Angelina! Some flibberers have smashed up the trophy room and they've gone for Filch! I'm locked in! We'd better get her out. If Filch catches her, Umbridge will ban Gryffindor from playing Quidditch forever! 
And that would be the end of the world, wouldn't it? Come on, let's find a way to get Angelina out. What's that? Wingardium Leviosa! Hey, Angelina! Harry, about time too. I thought you'd left me. Malfoy took my wand. We need to clear everything up before those Slytherins come back with Filch. Come on, quick! Have you been practicing without telling us? Filch could be here any minute! That's it! Keep casting! Hurry up! You know Umbridge is looking for an excuse to ban the Gryffindor team. That's it, Harry. We've almost done it. Reparo! Reparo! Right. Filch will go mad if he sees this mess. What's that? Reparo! If only they hadn't taken my wand. What? She's in here. Got you. <laughs> What's the problem, Mr. Filch? I don't know what's been going on here, but I'm keeping my eye on all of you lot. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. That's okay. We found somewhere for the DA to practice. Up on the seventh floor. That's great. I'll bring Alicia and Katie with me. See you later. Success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. All the dash and pitiful. Professor Flitwick, we've brought you the homework you asked for. Excellent, Miss Granger, excellent. I'm sure these will do you all credit. Now, when we go into the library, try to be polite to Zacharias Rom. Tragic demise of Ministry of Magic worker. Oh, boring day, innit? Okay, the passwords. No news is good news. Here. I finished that homework ages ago. What I need now is to know when Nearly Headless Nick died. You lot, Gryffindor, so I'm sure you can find out. And if we do, you'll come to the meeting? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, Harry, are you looking for me? Sir Nicholas, could you tell us when you died, please? Don't you remember? After all, you did attend my 500th death day party. Oh, yeah, in our second year. Which means you died in 1492. I knew that you would remember, Miss Granger. For some reason, my death day seems to be quite a popular question at the moment. I do hope that means they're thinking about another party. Okay, Zacharias, Sir Nicholas died in 1492. Yes, that's what I thought. You mean you already knew? So, the DA meeting is in a room off the seventh floor corridor. You just have to think about the DA meeting to find the room. Okay, I'll see you there.
Blimey! This is harder than I thought. Have a look at your map and see who's left to find. We've still got to tell the rest of the DA about the meetings. They'll be listed on the notice board. Complete your homework on self-fertilizing shrubs, and then you can come in. It's not like the three of you to give up easily. I'm sure an essay on the most fascinating of the self-fertilizing shrubs isn't beyond you. Let's find Neville. Devil's snare. That's what killed Bird from the Ministry. Complete your essay and I will let you have free range of the greenhouses. We need to find Neville, Harry. Potty Potter thinks he's so great. See ya. Three cards, that's all. Have you got them? Deposo! Get lost. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. What a good day for learning. Balder Dash and Piff. Chops and gravy. Uh, uh. Better out than in. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. We got them. Five moly plants and some mandrake root. Tremendous. If you leave them with me, I'll get them ready for the lesson. Great. See you in the room of requirement for the DA meeting. We've still got to tell the rest of the DA about the meetings. They'll be listed on the note. show you in our secret room. You don't have to bring the others if you don't want to. <laughs> What's Looney Lovegood staring at? What's a Thestral? Up there. Luna, we found somewhere for our defence against the Dark Arts group to meet. I can't come until the foal has been fed. It's really shy, though. Don't think it'll come down until the big ones do. Okay, let's feed them. We'll have to get the food to the highest point in the clearing. Wingardium Leviosa! Want a hand? Are you going to be able to come to the DA meeting then? Whatever you want to do. She's balmy. Do we really need her help?
We'll need to keep our eyes and ears open. There are gargoyles all over Hogwarts, but only some of them can talk. Are you still keeping your eyes open for gargoyles? Don't forget, we need to find talking gargoyles for Professor Bin's homework. Akio! We'll need to keep our eyes and ears open. There are gargoyles all over Hogwarts, but only some of them can talk. Are you still keeping your eyes open for gargoyles? Don't forget, we need to find talking gargoyles for Professor Bin's homework. Forget, we need to find talking gargoyles for Professor Ben's homework. Hey, Harry. You were lucky not to go to Azkaban. Let's hex them. We'll need to keep our eyes and ears open. There are gargoyles all over Hogwarts, but only some of them. Chops and gravy. Mmm, yummy. Still keeping your eyes open for gargoyles. Don't forget, we need to find talking gargoyles for Professor Ben's homework. Better wash your hands before you go to the library. I don't know. You're not funny. We'll need to keep our eyes and ears open. There are gargoyles all over Hogwarts, but only some of them can talk.
Hi, uh, we're looking for talking gargoyles. Can you, uh, talk? Yes. Great. Glad you think so. Can I ask you a question? Are you happy with your position in life? No, I'm not. I'd much rather be south-facing. Let's go. Maybe I should talk to someone, see if we can get him moved. Yeah, we could stick him in Umbridge's office. That'd serve her right. Might be a bit cruel to the gargoyle, though. That's all five gargoyles, isn't it? Let's get back and tell Dean where they all are. Could you ask the birds to go somewhere else, please? I've well, tried asking them, but their reply was rather... messy. Hey, Dean, we found all those gargoyles. Oh, cool. Can I copy them down in the dormitory later? You'd better ask Hermione if that's all right. Of course. After the DA meeting. Cool. See you later. Dragon's Egg. I look forward to your future exploits, Mr. Potter. Off on another adventure. Excuse me, have I found you? You have found us! So, if you want to see us, then walk through. And remember the password. Two heads are better than one. Three heads! Why are you always leaving me up? There's Neville. 
I bet he's got something on self-fertilizing shrubs. Hi, Neville. Do you know anything about self-fertilizing shrubs? Of course. I've got a book, Flesh-Eating Trees of the World, which has got some really good pictures of them. It's on my bedside table in the boys' dormitory if you want to borrow it. Thanks. Three heads are better than one. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Do something, Harry. This is like being in one of Bin's History of Magic lessons. Hospital? Scurrilous scoundrel. Please, can you tell me the password? Find three faces, as I've said, or simply stand around instead. Cast me with you. All your discoveries are making my arm ache. <laughs> well, really. The music. More way to cry. Cast me with you. All your discoveries are making my arm ache. I bet Neville does all right in his herbology OWL. Flesh-eating trees of the world. This is what we need for Professor Sprout's essay. Uh, Hermione, could you help me with the opening paragraph? Oh, all right then. And so therefore... Right. Let's take these essays back to Professor Sprout. Right. Let's take these essays back to Professor...
dragon's egg. Pass, friend to Hufflepuff. <laughs> Off on another adventure. Can't you find someone else? Professor Sprout, we've brought you our essays on self-fertilizing shrubs. Excellent work. Superb diagrams as well. Ten points to Gryffindor. Well, if you have time to spend on your herbology, as owl students, you're welcome to use the greenhouses. job at the ministry when I leave. Father's so welcome. <laughs> Professor Umbridge will sort him out. Get lost. Notice that Cho Chang's being funny around Harry. Still, she is a Tornadoes fan. She's probably mental. After your last feeble attempt at potion making, I expect you to write twelve inches of parchment on the properties of Moonstone. No excuses. But I've already got lots of homework. And Potter, anything less than acceptable, and you will suffer my displeasure. Check in the library. Great. Just what I need. What a complete git. I know just the book you need. If we're passing the library, you can find it there.
you didn't have to do that. There are lots of new things to see in our secret room, Harry. So! Do you know the password for Percival Pratt's portrait? Well, I, I did. Which is to say, I, I have known the answer to that, but I don't know it now. Ah! Aha! You could try talking to the portrait of Gifford Abbott at the bottom of the staircase. He, he's an excellent chap. Are you sure you don't know the password? Ah! Well... No, I don't. Talk to Gifford Abbott. He's at the bottom of the Grand Staircase. Hi, Harry! Hey! What are you doing? Want to go down to the lake? You know Percival Pratt's password. Um, does that mean yes or no? You're on a quest, are you not? Well, I shall not fail you. This password is absurd. That's the password, not a description of it. Well, both actually. <laughs> How absurd. Yeah, thanks. What was the password again? Forgotten already, have you? The password is. This password is absurd. <laughs> Your you can always talk to the first 
flaming earwigs. They're watching us. They're all watching us. I'm sick of all this. This password is absurd. Solved the riddle. Well done, you. It seems that now a reward is due. Pass, my friend, and enter through. I open now this way to you. This password is absurd. Yet now it has occurred, and so I must be stirred. This password is absurd. A password so absurd, I swear I've never heard. Education. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. Bald of dash and piff. I wish the Grey Lady would help me with my homework. Now, what you need for Professor Snape's essay is magical drafts and potions. Faring. All right. Have an excellent day today. Magical drafts and potions will be in the potion section. is on the second floor. This is the book we need. Oh look, Moonstone is sometimes known as the Wishing Stone. Um, Hermione? Oh no, you have to write this essay. But I suppose I could correct it for you. So therefore, and they, and in conclusion, right, let's take these essays back to Professor Snape. Hello. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. What a good day from the... Seen 
and not heard, that's what you Slytherins are supreme. What? Ha! You're not that supreme after all, are you? Not you again. Slytherins are supreme. I don't think. If I didn't have to open, I'd leave you out here, Potter. Oh, like I'm listening. You've not visited our secret room for a long time. You should see what's in there. Professor Snape, I've brought you my essay on moonstones. Indeed. Let us see if you can differentiate between monkshood and moonstone. Shall we? I suppose this is acceptable. Follow me. But I must remind you, Potter, you will not be able to rely upon Miss Granger when you take your owl. I've got some things to show you in our secret room. You don't have to bring the others if you don't want to. <laughs> Slytherins are supreme. Hardly. I wish I could tell Professor Snape of your sneaking. Well. Incendio! Scurrilous scoundrel. Hello, Harry. When are you going to teach us something useful? How about Harry teaches us how to keep your big gob shut? That'd be useful. It's okay, Ron. I know just the spell to teach Zacharias. I'm sure Zacharias won't mind if he helps you show the others the spell. Yes, here it is. Richter Sempra. You need to target your spell and then gesture with your wand like this. Richter Sempra. Right. Just stand there, Zacharias, and let me show everyone what to do. Richter Sempra! This is super! Keep going! This will be cool. Keep going! This is a great step! Oh, hey! Brilliant! Well done, everyone! Hey! I haven't had a chance to practice it yet! Oh, sorry, Zacharias. That's all the time we have to practice that spell. Maybe you can do it another time. That was a great lesson, Harry. That Umbridge woman looks a bit like a toad, doesn't she? Hey, Harry! Harry! I don't mind what we practice. Hi, Harry. I can't wait for this lesson. Are we going to do something exciting? I bet we are. Uh, yeah. Can we blow something up? Or try and turn someone into a ferret? Or what's that spell where you make somebody completely freeze so they can't move? Petrificus Totalis. Okay, this is quite a simple spell, but it's very useful. To paralyze an opponent, you need to point your wand and tap it, as I'm doing. Petrificus Totalis! Patrific Sonsalus!
Wow, Harry, you're the greatest teacher ever. Thanks. Let's teach the others. <laughs>